Hey friends, let's talk about Global Star and some things that I've been noticing. But first, I want to say this is going to be a long week, guys, because Monday the stock market is closed. Oh no, what are we going to do? And a lot of us are probably off from work. But we can make it through this, guys. But let's enjoy Martin Luther King Day and celebrate that, guys. But talking about Global Star, man, this stock has done better than I thought it was going to do. You know, my last video, I told people I really think this is going to settle somewhere around the high 70s, low 80s. And it kind of has been to a point. But honestly, it's been trailing on the high 8s into the 90s. And honestly, that's really good. That means a lot of people are staying in this. That means a lot of people are not just pumping and dumping this thing as much as I was worried they were going to. They're actually staying with this stock. And that's what we need. But in this video, I want to talk about something that I read about and it kind of like blew my mind. Now, this is not happening as of right now. So let's break this down. Let's talk about Kathy Wood in ARK Investment. Now, I'm sure a lot of you know who that is and what that is. ARK Investment has been blown up lately with all their ETFs of different sectors in investing. Look at this article that just came out. This is really, this is crazy. So you're going to have to wrap your head around this as an investor and think what this could mean. And I don't know what you guys know about space mining, space investing. When it comes to all this talk about, you know, SpaceX, you know, what Elon Musk owns, the other, his other company, which does not have an IPO yet. What ARK Investment is doing, they are making a specific ETF for space travel, for space mining, for companies that have something to do with space. So automatically, I'm a nerd, I love this, I'm freaking out. Now th they have not yet made this, but they're working on it and they're going to be investing into companies like this. And I really think this thing is gonna blow up. So let's read this real fast and then I'll get to my next part here. Kathy Wood's ARK Investment plans to launch a new ETF that will invest in stocks related to the theme of space exploration. The fund will be called the ARK Space Exploration Exploration ETF ticker on this one ARKX. According to a filing with a Securities and Exchange Commission, according to the filing, the archive ETF will invest in US and international stocks from large to small that are leading, enabling, or benefiting from technology enabled products and or slash services that occur beyond the surface of the earth. Oh yeah. In the filing, ARK said it believed space exploration companies broadly fitted into one of four categories. Orbital aerospace companies which launch and service rockets and satellites. And look at this last one right here. And aerospace beneficiary companies which may be involved in internet. What does that sound like to you? So listen, I read this and I was thinking, if Global Star was able to get noticed and be put in this, this would be huge. Now like I said, this is not happening as of right now. This has not even been talked about. This is just some kind of rumor that I'm starting right now and hopefully it explodes and Kathy Wood notices and she sees Global Star and we all become rich because of this. That's what I'm trying to say here. But imagine if this were to happen. Imagine what Global Star would do overnight. Because I think most of us that invest in a Global Star are probably holding 500 to 10,000 shares minimum. So I think a lot of us would be living the high life if this were to happen immediately the next day. Let's read this too. Space exploration is possible due to the convenience of a number of themes and a space exploration company may not currently drive any revenue and there is no assurance that such company will drive any revenue from innovative technologies in the future. Now they're saying that to keep themselves safe, you know, obviously there's no really space companies right now. You know, SpaceX is about the closest thing we have and hopefully the next so-called future will be able to invest in that company. And here's a list of the other ARK ETFs you can invest in. Now as for ARK, I'm not trying to talk about ARK. There's plenty of ARK videos on there that people have broke them down. I made a little bit of ARK video not long ago and it went nowhere. But if you're wondering about ARK, yeah, I, I definitely would look into that. If you're looking for a long-term stock to hold, like, a, like an ETF to have for a long time, definitely that's one that I would look into. But let's talk about this Global Star thought, if this were to happen. In my last video, I talked about Global Star had come out with this new technology, this tracking technology that they're putting on animals that belong to farms, cattle ranches, 
things of that sort, pretty much anything that you want to be tagged out in the middle of nowhere. But my reasoning in why Global Star could be a part of this new ETF with ARC is because they're involved with satellite phones, satellite GPSs, and I believe this technology will grow with them, obviously, as we advance as a civilization. And right now, Global Star already has satellites in low orbit in space. So I would put them in this category as somewhat of a company that could go into a futuristic slash helping out in some kind of space exploration program, technology, however we want to word this. But guys, to wrap this up, what I want to say is if you're looking at Global Star and you're wondering, is this just a pump and dump? For me, it's not a pump and dump. I'm going to be in this thing for quite some time because something could happen overnight and reading articles like this being an investor is kind of like being a detective you have to read into things you have to look for clues of what's happening what could happen here just in next year what could happen here just in a day or so anything can happen overnight and that's what's so exciting about investing and being in the stock market and as for this arc investment space exploration etf uh yeah count me in i'll be the first one buying some shares in that one but guys i hope that got you pumped i hope that did something to you with global star and go well maybe there's some light in the tunnel here maybe something will come faster it's just a thought it's just a theme let's talk about it maybe kathy woods will hear about this video maybe she'll hear about global star who cares about this video we just want kathy woods to hear about global star <laughs> and guys on the other note i just want to thank you so much for all the support and my youtube channel i started this as just a hobby that i loved and it still is a hobby that i love and you guys are telling me about all these other companies that are just great and phenomenal and that's what i want this to be i want this to be a community where we all help each other we all help each other make money and we're all sharing ideas with each other but guys thank you so much i think i've almost got like 500 subscribers that's that is insane that's crazy to me i could literally be monetized here like another month or so if this keeps going the way it is it's totally crazy it blows my mind i just can't believe it but guys remember be positive be you start a youtube channel start investing 2021 is going to be huge man it's going to be huge and this Going into all this new technology, this space exploration stuff we're talking about here, man, this is gonna be the new age of investing. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is gonna be something we may not see a lot of gains in, but if you're a family man or, you know, maybe by the time you're in your late 70s or 80s, you might be able to buy some stuff. You might have a lot of money saved up in this kind of stuff. But guys, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye.